Well, good morning to Heidelberg in Germany. I arrived about one o'clock yesterday afternoon, uh, parked at the camper place. So the camper place is um, a big home for campers. There's about 50 of us. Um, and it's sort of like an honesty box sort of affair almost. I don't know. You um, fill in a form, you go to this sort of post boxy bit, um, write your registration details up with a 20 quid, 20 euro note and post it through their little post box and um, you're good to go for uh, 24 hours. So that's good. Uh, I usually like paying for parking, not when it's just like one night and you know, you can just as well park at the side of the road, but um, because of the number of creeps lately, I thought I would um, splash out. And again, in Germany, it's illegal to wild camp, so uh, probably best not to do that anyway. Um, so Heidelberg's awful, awful. <laughs> that was my initial review. I was driving in thinking, why on earth did my friend send me here? It is just a gigantic, it just feels like a gigantic industrial estate, like just awful. Uh, anyway, I parked up and um, and walked to the old town, hoping for something a little bit more quaint. And uh, indeed, it was a lot prettier, it was a lot nicer. So it was about a 45 minute walk. I'm sure I could work out how to use buses and things, but it was a 45 minute walk to the town centre, um, old town centre. Um, and it was really pretty. Um, loads of really nice buildings. Um, I do like the architecture in Germany. Um, there's a funny green man uh, when you're crossing the lights. That always makes me laugh when I'm in Germany. Um, yeah, he's got a hat on, I think, if I remember. I'll have to dig him out for the video if you've not seen him. Um, and there's this one huge shopping street that seems to go all the way through. It has lovely shops and but you know when it's just so busy, I mean you couldn't move, it was just, it was like being at some sort of rock concert or something and um, yeah, just trying to move forward was a bit like you're trying to get to the front of the front of the concert or I oh, just absolutely, just too many people in Heidelberg, there's too many people and yet in the disgusting industrial estate off like bits around it there's just nobody nobody at all like absolutely it's like there it's almost like going into some sort of zombie land where the entire human race has been eradicated it's just nobody and then you and it's because they're all in the town center um so i didn't get to do any drawing um I did do um, a sketch when I got back. Hang on. I'm back. So one of the, I do like sketching when I'm out and that's because it kind of embeds the memory of where I've been when I'm sketching out and about. So if I'm sketching a bridge and I'm there and I'm watching the bridge then and when I look back at my sketchbook, I can remember it really clearly. I sketch from a photo back in the van. I, I don't get that sense at all. It, um, I don't get that sense. I won't look back at this and think, oh yeah, I know, I remember exactly where I was. So, sort of to make use of the sketch, as it were, I tried to use sort of maybe different mediums and things. So, this time around, I went for something a little bit more different uh, for me. I went for sort of a quite a sketchy ink approach so I used um, acrylic ink because I've got some of those for my birthday and um, and just watercolours um, so yeah quite it was just a free and easy sketch which I will show you how I did um, maybe I'll do that now and then I'll put some clips of Heid Heidelberg um, and you can see um, just how chaotic it really is so I'm heading to Berglin next and I'm going to stay there at a friend's place for a couple of nights. Um, I probably won't, I might do one video update but I'll have a day off from doing the videos. Um, 
and I'll, hopefully I'll be able to do a bit more sketching because I'm, what I'm finding with this um, road trip is that I'm spending a lot of time driving and then I'm exhausted and don't really want to do any sketching and then I'm like investigating and exploring the towns and the um, wh whatever's there and I'm not having much time to do any sketching and see the place so if I was going to do this again I think it would be good to do like have two days in a place one for sort of investigating around the area and another day for sketching at least I always have this conflict when I'm doing um having these like little sketching holidays I really I, I really love exploring and investigating new places really love that I like walking I like seeing what's there it feels like a waste if I'm in somewhere new and I'm not investigating it and exploring it so if I'm sat doing some sketching, I feel guilty, even though it's a good way of remembering that place. So um, I think for me, what would be what would work really well is if I had a couple of days in each space, in each, each place, so I could have a day to explore and then a day to sort of paint so I don't feel guilty about not exploring and I don't feel guilty about um, not painting enough. What would be really nice is to not feel guilty at all because it's a holiday. Um, anyway, it'll be interesting to see if anybody else gets this, if they do any like painting holidays, how you approach it, and um, whether you have longer periods of time in different spaces or whether you are happy to sacrifice exploration for drawing and sort of what takes precedence because I mean, it's a, I love both. And that's why it's so difficult for me. Anyway, I'm going to sign out now. I'll show you my um, my sketch and my watercolour and then I'll show you some clips of Heidelberg. Thank you. 